My stomach's doing all kind of weird shit. All right. Yeah, I think it's the mix of the sugar and the cheese. Take the Pepto. I just took a tum. All right. All right. All right, we may not have it like five or 10 minutes. Yeah. It's gonna be up too quick. All right. So, here we are coming to you. What I'm about to lay out for you is not, I don't want you to think this is some latch stitch effort. Okay. This has actually been calculated since the afternoon that you nominated us. So, as of right now, everyone knows that I blew up on you. Yeah. Everyone knows there's line drawn. Everyone knows it would make no sense for you to take me off. However, what I'm offering you right now, because I know that you're alliance, I know what you have, this right here could work. Let me walk you through how. Okay. As a <coughs> right here, we, we gotta we gotta expedite this. Here's I the know, idea. I know. Yeah. Here's here here's the reality of it, man. It it all works out, and you, when you look at it in perfect gameplay, it's 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 perfect, right? Everyone knows that Winston blew up. You're upset with him. You put nominated us. No one would see this coming in any way, shape, or form. You essentially said this side of the house. I'm going after you guys. This is my side of the house. This is what's happening. So that's a better reason why no one would see this coming. Now, here's the thing. You're upsetting with one side of the house. You could come out of this unscathed with not being upsetting anyone. So the reality is if you use the veto to take one of us off, it wouldn't make sense to take Winston off because obviously of what happened. Yeah. It would make sense. You could say, hey, listen, Brett came to me and you know, I decided to take him off. Yeah, you had I a know. soft spot. Like right. Whatever, we can figure out the details there. The idea is that there's another side of the house that you're working with that's still very upset with someone over there. Yeah. That's a fact because there was a really dirty move that back is really one of your alliance. <coughs> right. Your own one. So, so this is a way for you to... Before it implodes over there because there's right. no way that everyone's forgetting that Swaggy went home due to Caitlin's actions. Right. Oh, yeah, no way. Right. There's no way. No. And that's also, if you think about it, because again, Scotty, I've, I've played nothing but a loyal game. 100% with you since day one with Steve. That's right. all I wanted to work with. And that's why, let me explain right now. If me and you play this up to where we don't speak in public, but behind the scenes you use me as a pawn every time you win an HOH, I use you as a pawn. It's, it's, but the it's real beautiful. pawn is our target. It's a beautiful hidden alliance that nobody sees coming. And beyond that, we can make a final three right here. Because you can't tell me, first of all, anyone in your alliance has seen what you've seen in this past seasons and plays the game that you're going to play. 100%. Because I can tell you right now, I know Fessy's a good competitor, and I know he's a good physical threat. He doesn't know the game, okay? And you know that your side's a little bit weak. But right now, this is an opportunity for you to make a phenomenal game move by backdooring Caitlyn. And I know that's... It is weird, but here's the reality is you have the votes. Because yeah. if you do it, first off, you keep both sides happy. Because here's both the reality. Sides would There's understand. no way Bailey doesn't vote for her to leave after what she did to Swaggy. See There's no chance. way. I know Rockstar is also upset with her, too. And trust me, I, great girl, but here's it, it is a phenomenal game move. It makes sense when it comes to the game. So the biggest thing I ask you to do, sleep on it. Give right, yourself I'll a moment. Sleep on it. Well, sleep on it. I, I, Think on it. We've still got time. We're not, we yeah. don't have to rush this, but here's the deal. If we did this, I'm telling you right now, this is only between us three. Can't leave. And that's why this had this, to be a secret meeting and no one, no that's, one We were no debating on coming up here at 5 a.m. because I didn't want it, but I knew that once you had somebody up here sleeping with you. Yeah. Um, it is what it is. And what I'm saying is we know what kind of player you are and we know you've got the brains. And eventually these HOHs are going to be some brawn. And I think we can all three here work in a fantastic hidden alliance that we have an opportunity of now because of the way I act. And the way immediately, no, and I mean, the, it was a perfect setup. Yeah. It started yes. that afternoon. But the I biggest started thinking, thing is, is that you come out of this unscathed yes. with both sides of the house. Understanding. Your, your side is you happy, still have because your side happy because you revenge swaggy. Right. The other side is happy because, hey man, you, you pulled one of us you off. You pulled one of the bros off in the worst day. You, you've fina you finessed a way to make both sides semi-happy because we didn't, one of us no, didn't it's, go No, it's home. a relief. They're, yeah. they're, they're happy in that but aspect But beyond that, there. next week when you can't compete for the HOH, we can promise you safety because we have majority numbers, and I know that that sounds weird to say out loud, but you know it's true as well. And beyond that, it's, it's saying that here you are, yeah, you've got us both up, and congrats, and 
I understand that this is a this was a huge move, and you won the veto, and you're outright like that was awesome. Congrats. And you're crushing it. Thank you. But what I'm saying is, this is a chance for you to crush it long term. It and makes sense. I think you know sense. that in your gut, because when from the time you came in here, I knew and you still haven't admitted it to me, but I know you're a super fan. Hmm? Are you a super fan? I don't like the word super fan. Okay. Well, regardless, you've regardless. seen a lot of the show, and you know the show, and you're good at this. This is something that, so, so obviously, we're pretty out in the open. We hang out a lot. Yeah. This is something under the fucking radar that no one's going to see. That's, that's the beauty of it, is the fact that's that what goes along if in we this keep game. this whole little boundary between me and you, obviously, we can be cordial. I'm not saying put up a fake, you know, you don't have to act. Um, but I do think if we kept this up, this would be a great long-term commitment to us three. I mean, I'm telling you huge. right now. I'm, Dude, I'm, Steve's going to be I'm hooting you, and fucking Right, that's what I mean. Brother. Steve would literally be like, okay, here was the turning point, and here it is. You're going to send one of us home and be fighting for your life each week with the numbers you got, or... Because here's, here's the other side, if you think about it. If you leave one side upset with you, you're, you're creating a target, you know what I mean? Yeah. You want to minimize the target. So if you appeal to both sides here, you walk out, Everyone gets the revenge on this side. It makes sense. This side's happy that you took someone off. And the reality is you have the votes where she ends up going home. So this side's not upset at all. It you makes get, sense. You get less blood on your hands. And, and it allows you to fall into move. the shades, fall into the background, simmer. It's tough being an early HOH. And you know that. I know that you didn't want this. Because when you send someone home, you have a big target on your back. But when you send someone home because it's for, for revenge, yeah. it makes fucking sense. No one holds and that you against you. you said yourself, you've set it up perfect for this back door because you said yourself, I'm going on a manhunt to avenge. Steve. Steve, he was in your alliance. Obviously, that's why he was. It makes sense to both sides is what I'm saying. Here's a chance. And I, we wanted to come to you with this. This is not a last ditch effort either. Like I said, this happened the moment I had my conversation with you and realized I was that angry, but I also thought, you know what? Scotty and I have gotten along better than half the other house on a personal level, which sucks. But from here on, if we keep this little rift as a fake, we can ride this thing. I'm, I mean, I'm telling you, Scotty. I, I mean, I know you're being very quiet right now. I kind of want to well, hear no, your thoughts. Well, no, I don't want, like, I mean, I I'm, I'm laying it out as in this. Yeah. So imagine next week. Imagine it's a whatever. He wins HOH. Imagine for him to go up, He's not that angry, whatever. Doesn't even use you as a pawn. You're safe. Beyond that, you have the option, I have the option now, to use you as a pawn, because you would know you're going up as a pawn. I can truly target whoever I want to put up and say, hey, you're a pawn. Do you see what I'm saying? And you I have the option as well. Like, yeah. no, he gets, it he gets looks it. like Doesn't every matter. other week, you're so throwing I, me I out because wanna... you've been trying to get me out. And then somehow I get a chance to play in the veto. You get a chance to play in the veto to win it yourself, take yourself off. Or we finagle a way to where I convince so-and-so, um, so-and-so used it on you. I'm angry at them now. So it, it's a week by week, like, here we are still trying to get each other out for the next seven, eight, nine, ten. How long can we the run this is that we can stay here. That's what long. I'm saying. We can make this long term, man. We can kill it. We can crush it. And, and you come out of it without any form of a target on your back. It's got to be quiet, and it's got to be a it's trust not, thing. It's got to be a trust thing. Cause it's 100% a leap of Honestly, I mean, trust. here it is. I'm giving you all my game. I told you. All right, all right, let's, let's wrap this up because right, I don't. Because well, the biggest thing is the secrecy here, too. Everybody's outside, though. Calm down. I gave you part of my game when I told you about the lie I told the same. And I trust you. I know. I'm going to let you know. I already yeah. knew about that before you told me. You did? That was part of the thing yeah. that, like really kind of irked me was that that happened. Okay. Which well, that's actually right. the whole reason I asked you that day. That right. whole thing was a setup so that I could ask you. Because right. I didn't know that that was a lie at that right. point. So right. I thought you were right. playing right. What I'm saying is, man, we're giving you our game right here. And this is a damn good game. And I think it's better than the strategy you got. They're coming up. Well, I'm doing a one-on-one. -on -one. Go. I'm doing a one-on-one. -on -one. Just like, I'm apologizing. Going to the bathroom. Okay. I'm saying I'm apologizing if anything comes up, okay? Nobody's coming up. All right, I'm gonna step on out then. So, think on it. We had to come to you tonight. I wanted to yeah, chat more and not be rushed, but I knew Haley was gonna be staying up here. Um, I mean, nobody's coming right now. What's your What's your thoughts? I mean, bounce them off of me. I mean, give me your rebuttals. Uh, I know I what definitely, you mean. I definitely have reservations. Yeah. One including if we do get final three, you guys are 100% gonna pick each other over me. Scotty, from the final three on, you know as well as I do, those final three HOHs, it doesn't matter. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, when you win, when you You're beat right. us fair and square, those final three.